Welcome to the Angelo Show. I'm your host, Angelo, and you're now tuned in to Shit Talking Tuesdays. And I ain't never shamed nobody coochie. And it just never came up. I have never been in a situation where I've been asked to shave some coochie. And now, don't get me wrong. I will. If you need me to, shave, I'll do whatever you need me to do to the coochie. Like, uh, eat it, shave it, whatever the fuck we need to do. Just let me know. I Nobody has ever came to me and said, Angelo, I have a situation where you're going to have to shave my coochie. And, 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 and if they did, you know, I would. I would be there for... Any coochie, not any coochie, but any coochie that I'm fucking, if I'm fucking this coochie and this coochie need my, <laughs> this coochie need my help, my, my attendance, my, whatever this coochie need, I got it. Whatever it needs, I got it. I, I just, Tyrese out here shave. I ain't never, I have asked, I, I, I've asked around. Niggas been shaving coochies for years. It never came up and, and, and I, cause I don't use razors and I don't. I don't put a razor on my face. I use some clippers now. If you want me to take some clippers to your coochie, baby, I got you. I'm not going to clip shit. I know what I'm doing with the clippers. But I, I baby, I'm, I'll am i be damned if I go uh, cut some coochie. I'm not cutting coochie, bro. I'm not doing it. If it's a razor, don't hand it to me because I, I ain't never did this. I shaved my face with a razor one time. My face looked like a Nestle Crunch Bar. Now, it's just, that wasn't really my razor because I shaved it when I worked at Swinson's. When you work at Swinson's and you run to the cars, they they make you shave. And I came in there with some stubble and they handed me a razor and said, hey, you got to take care of that. So that was the worst decision I ever made. Never use the razor again. Don't know what the fuck near. I thought that was for women anyway. Well, niggas don't use near. Listen, anybody need their coochie shave? I'm, listen. I'm ready to graduate. I'm trying to mature. I've been doing. I've been working on myself. I've been doing some self uh, 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 growth. Been focused on myself. And, and if, if if shaving coochie is a part of my maturation, then 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 sign me up. Sign me up. I don't know. What <laughs> she was so funny. She just had her legs up, and Tyrese was just saving some coochie. I mean, more power to Tyrese. Everybody be out here. Dog and Tyrese, man, Tyrese, Tyrese is 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 ahead of the game. Cause I ain't never did it. It's been a while. It's been a while since I seen you. It's been a while since we talked. It's been a while, man. A lot been going on. What's been going on? I, I told y'all in the last podcast, which was a long ass time ago. I, y'all gonna get them regularly now. Y'all gonna get them regularly now. I told y'all in the last podcast that you know my relationship ended. I had lost everything, I, and it, it was crazy. It was it was when I turned thirty. Like we broke up summer of nineteen, but I turned thirty December of nineteen, and I turned thirty with absolutely nothing. I had lost everything. I lost my girl, family, lost my job, lost my car, my three hundred, my baby, lost a lot, lost my, I lost my place. I lost, I lost it all. I turned thirty with nothing. I didn't have a goddamn thing. If whatever any. Whatever you have, I didn't have it. I didn't have a fucking lamp. And I turned 30. I had the most, I had the saddest birthday ever. I went to Denny's and got a free meal. I went to the movie theaters by myself. I went to Denny's by myself. I went to see Jumanji, the sequel, by myself. Eh, wasn't really that good of a movie. It was just the shittiest way a man want to turn 30. But I turned it all around, got everything back, got another 300. That's my third one. I, making money, everything good, everything going back. Learned a lot of lessons. Learned a lot of life's lessons that I wish I would have learned way earlier. But I probably wouldn't have been perceptive. They probably tried to show themselves to me a long time ago. I just wasn't receptive. I, I probably said perceptive. I, I just wasn't ready to. But I done been on a journey for the past two years. I've been in therapy. And I didn't go to therapy because of depression and nothing like that. I went to therapy really for answers i wanted to figure out what about me made me make the decisions that i made because don't nobody just lose everything for nothing like bro this was a string of bad decisions and i had to figure out where they even started turns out i've been turns out i've been depressed for 20 years but that, 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 that. i mean who hasn't i mean <laughs> who hasn't we're all depressed we all suffer from trauma all our parents fucked up they parents fucked up, and their parents before them fucked up, and we're fucked up. 
And that's okay. As long as you're doing the work, as long as you're educating yourself, as long as you're trying to grow each and every day. But sometimes you just get tired of growing. Sometimes you just be like, man, ooh, I need a break. And you just go OT or something. You go get some some coochie or whatever. You go shave some coochie. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you do, I mean, I find myself being in a place where I'm like, bro, I'm tired of trying to figure shit out. I'm tired of feeling. I'm tired of thinking. Like, Goddamn, let's smoke some weed. That's what some of us do. Some of y'all do crack. I don't know. Whatever you do, do it well. If you smoke crack, listen. I'm not going to tell you to stop smoking crack cuz if you're dumb enough to smoke crack, keep smoking it. I don't I don't I don't know. Derek Jackson showed his ass, didn't he? <laughs> I could not stand Derek Jackson in the first place. Knew he's a fraud. Ben knew he was a fraud. Every nigga knew he was a fraud. Why? Because every nigga, no nigga ever I've never met a nigga that no nigga agree with. No nigga agree with this nigga in no way, shape, form, or fashion. No. And he got what he deserved, bro. No. Fake ass shit don't last too long. Fake ass shit don't last too long. You, yeah, I hope he saved his money. I don't know if he made money. I hope he saved. He, oh, yeah, he sold some books and shit. And he, you know, did whatever he do. He stole whatever he could steal, and, 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 and it's over. You need a, we need a real dark-skinned nigga talking about relationships. A nigga that's been through some shit. A nigga that's lost it all and got it all back. And I am the Jackson that you should listen to. Because what I what I realize is that niggas be lying to y'all. Derek Jackson and all y'all niggas. Because niggas just be trying to fuck. I don't give a fuck about fucking you. I have a sex addiction. I'm working it out in therapy. I done fucked. I ain't even about to tell y'all. I, listen. I don't give a fuck about fucking you. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the absolute truth. And that's the problem. I had a woman. A woman told me that the way I think is not the way niggas think. It's not the way niggas even are. Women believe that we're these gentle, like, progressive, thoughtful. I don't know what the fuck they think. In order to be a man, you have to be a certain level of I don't want to say ignorant, but you have to be a certain level of man because we're everything we do is aggressive and there's so much testosterone. You, you, you just, there's no way you can think. We can't think and speak and act the way that they do, and y'all keep lying to them. Personally, I'm not one of them niggas that agree with everything Kevin Samuels says either because Kevin Samuels to me sound like a nigga that's hurt. Kevin Samuels to me sound like a nigga that's been hurt. Bye bye. Whoever this bitch is, oh, she must be a hell of a bitch. Because he, because he considers himself to be a high value man. He think he got some money. He wearing suits and he doing his podcast and he out here spreading hurt knowledge. I'm not saying that everything he said is wrong. I'm just saying the way he said it be sounding like, oh, she did a number on you. I don't know what she did. She must have left you for a nigga close to you, or she must have had a baby. You know, right when you was about to nut in her, like when you had just decided. I don't know what happened to him, but I know what happened. Because bro, bro be, <laughs> bro be saying, I'm not even going, I'm not signing up to just say outlandish shit to you. I'm not signing, I'm just going to be real. And I'm going to start with why men cheat. It's simple. Niggas ain't happy. Some niggas cheat because they don't know nothing else. That's what they've always done and seen and really don't give a fuck. Most niggas cheat because they not happy. And I'll tell you why they not happy. It's because of y'all. It's because nobody gives a fuck about the man. I always say nobody gives a fuck about the man. I remember being a child and my dad used to say, nobody give a fuck about me in here. I couldn't understand because, bro, we love you. But, yeah, we didn't give a fuck because nobody gives a fuck. I saw it. I see it, bro, in so many relationships. I've seen it in mine. I see it everywhere, bro. Niggas everywhere. Black men. Black men, brothers everywhere. Doing what they supposed to do. Going to work every day or hustling or whatever. Whatever they doing, they providing. They protecting. 
And they come home and make sure everybody in the house straight. Check on the kids. Y'all, y'all good? How was school? Everything all right? Am I getting in no trouble? All right, cool. Y'all need anything? Cool. Yeah, all right, yeah. Check on the wife. Hey, how was your day? Listen to a 45-minute soliloquy about a bunch of bullshit. Be attentive. We yeah. in? Damn. That's crazy as fuck. You know, I told you about that bitch. We, 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 we be engaging, doing all types of shit. And when everybody's good, we go off and just... I don't know, you might have a man cave or a den or a basement. You just go off and don't nobody come check on you. When you asked about her day, she didn't ask about yours. Don't nobody give a fuck. Because everybody's good. They thinking you did it. You made sure everybody was good. Motherfuckers will call you upstairs for dinner and they already ate. Everybody ate. Oh yeah. I made you a, I made you a plate though. I ain't gonna say what I was about to say. It, 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 it's, it's, but you know who do give a fuck about the man? Martha, Beatrice, Ruth. <laughs> I'm using old ass names because this shit been going on for generations. It's always a bitch around the corner that's just extra attentive. Who gives a fuck? Whether she's a widow or, <laughs> or just you know, just an honorary side bitch. It's always a bitch around the corner I, I, for, I, for no reason at all. Because you don't even treat her right. For no reason at all. Just give all the fucks about what you got going on. She want to hear about everything that's going on. You know what I'm saying? Big decisions side bitches have helped make in y'all's households, woman. Because he didn't talk to you about it. Because he couldn't talk to you. A nigga that brought home a motherfucking 75-inch TV. You just thought that's the one he liked. Man, he, nigga, nigga looked at 100 TVs. Yeah, baby, should I get the 65 or the 70? The side bitch said, yeah. I think she'll, it's side bitch. <laughs> I think your family and your wife would really like the big one. Damn, you're right. Get some pussy and we go home. We go home. It's, 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 I, I don't know what white men go through. I really don't give a shit. I don't give a shit because they, you know, they're good, you know. This is their world. Don't give a fuck. But I imagine they're going through the same shit. But fuck their plight. Black men, nobody give a fuck at the man. Don't nobody give a fuck. And that is the, that's a major women. Like I said, some niggas just ain't shit. But if that's the nigga you picked, then you probably ain't shit because, you know, ain't shit people tend to rock with each other. Like, you ever notice that? I mean, you, you and your girl, y'all, y'all do similar shit. Y'all both ain't shit. Or y'all both is shit. Either way, it can be a happy relationship. If everybody give a fuck about everybody. It's, it's, I ain't never shaved no coochie, bro. That shit is blowing my mind. That shit really is blowing my mind. Cheating is something we are working on, though. Black men are trying to be, and we're not getting we're not getting no credit. Black men are, are are adapting. Black men are trying to. The problem is times have changed. Times have changed, but people have not changed. People got to change with the times. A lot of niggas don't even know how to be men in this day and age. A lot of men innately just want shit to be like. Way shit used to be A lot of niggas want housewives A lot of niggas Will prefer a girl not do shit That's why a lot of niggas When they get up They retire that girl Or She don't fucking work no more Just say hang around here Help with the business I don't know what you're doing You gotta figure out what you like Everybody gotta figure out A lot of y'all don't even know what y'all like You gotta figure out what you want I'm 31 And not that there's anything wrong with Dating people with kids, I've done it. Love the hell out of them kids. My thing is now, now that I'm in my 30s and now that I've been through a lot of shit, I I, I realize I don't want to date nobody else with kids. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get around that because I'm 31. Everybody got kids. I'm going to have to go younger or get lucky, but I don't know. But you got to figure out what you want. You really got to figure out what you want. And anything... Besides what you want is a red flag It's a red fucking flag 
Y'all ignore red fucking flags. Big ass, bright ass, red fucking flags. Not in your 30s. Not in 2021. No, 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 bitch. I'm not doing it. I don't give a fuck what it is. It can be the smallest thing. If I ain't rocking with it, oh, yeah, we might as well wrap this up. That's just me, though. Y'all draw y'all own lines. I ain't got no. T- I ain't got no more time to play. But you don't like. You don't eat grits. Okay. All right. So, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not gonna work. I haven't seen a scary movie in six years because my my ex didn't like them. Yeah, you know, I was accommodating that. I don't know what my dumb ass interested in watching without her. I don't know what the fuck. Cause you get you get codependent. That's that's another thing y'all gotta stop doing, man. Have your own lives. In relationships, I that's a lesson I learned. Have your own separate lives, have y'all shit together, but don't forget about you. A lot of times, you can forget about you in a relationship. Don't forget about you, you are the star of your team. This is your life. You can share part. I don't believe in that we're one, but I, I mean, maybe when I get married. But nah, y'all gotta say, and stop doing boyfriend shit and girlfriend shit. Stop doing husband and wife shit when you just boyfriend and girlfriend. I ain't no sharing bank accounts and all that shit. Fuck that shit. Don't do none of that shit until y'all, yeah, until you know you ain't, this bitch ain't going nowhere, and you know you ain't going nowhere. Like to Martha's house. Don't know. <laughs> Me doing none of that shit. That shit is sick. All that shit is just. Now, I don't want to say it's sick, but it's, 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 it's unhealthy when it's not, when this ain't that. When this ain't that. You invest your all into a boyfriend. You invest your all into a girlfriend, bro. No, 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 no. We got to stop making the mistakes in 2021. I need to come up with some rules for moving forward as it pertains to dealing with black love. Moving forward in 2021, we got to stop all a bunch of bullshit. Gotta stop all the bullshit because we don't have time. You know, let the 20 or let the kids do, you know. Some of y'all need to grow up. That's just the fact of the matter. Some of y'all need to grow up. But there I go again. I'm always forcing growth on people just because I'm going on my own journey. I'm always telling people that they depressed and that they suffer from this, that, and the third. I don't know. My apologies. That's another lesson I learned. Stay in your own fucking lane.